All right, guys, a Seiko that is affordable that I actually bought with my own money. Um, through my buddy Mimo, of course, my preferred Seiko authorized dealer. So what did I buy? Well, I picked up a chronograph, oddly enough. This is the SSB403, has a retail price, $285. You're gonna get a discount. I'll put a link down below in the description. Check it out, I'll put the discount code there. Hard Lex Crystal, 100 meter water resist using the caliber 8. T63, which is a Mecha Quartz um, battery powered chronograph with a running seconds, which is nice. Basically, a VK63, but like a modern interpretation of it, is what I understand. So, um, this is the strap it comes on. You guys know I'm not a huge fan, although this looks awesome, I just can't wear them. So, I swapped it over to a strap code Hexad bracelet. And I know it doesn't have the fitted links, but it adds enough weight to it that it makes it feel more substantial on wrist, and it has a nice taper to the bracelet. So I'm just going to show it how I would actually wear it. If you guys want me to, tr I'm going to probably order some other leather straps, so I'll, I'll show this watch again. I will, if you have any other questions or if you want updates on it, but this is probably one of the more affordable Seikos that I've bought recently for sure. And I'm actually going to wear it. I enjoy wearing it. So let's get right into a 41 millimeter case, 48 lug to lug. Uh, love the case shape on this. Drilled lugs. And it's 12.5 millimeter thick. Like I said, hard lex crystals flat. 22 millimeter lug width there. So I'm actually looking at Zurich leather straps, which um, I don't know where that's at. Let me grab one. So I'm going to pick up a few different leather straps. This is a 20. I'm going to order this. I like this padded, the way it's stitched. So I'm going to order some of these in 22, and I'm going to order some rally straps. I think those will look really good on this. There's other colorways of this model uh, as well. Six millimeter push-pull crown. And then the obvious elephant in the room is the oversized start pusher for the chronograph. Uh, way more accessible, way easier to operate and not that I do a bunch of timing with chronograph, but this actually makes a difference because they could have easily done the pushers this size. I'm glad that they did this uh, asymmetric design. So this one's obviously like gray silver. We can zoom in on the dial. You can see how cool it looks. Uh, there's other model numbers. There's the green one, which actually comes on bracelet. That's a SSB405. If you go to Mimo's website, they're all on there. There's a blue one, which actually has orange accents. So that one would be a very killer looking one as well. That is the SSB409. And then there's a black dial variant with a bracelet as well. Not a black watch, but the dial's black. That one's the SSB397. So about, about a three year battery life on these, depending on how much you use that chronograph. But you can see the running seconds down there at the six. You have your date in between the four and five. You have your basically AM, PM indicator. It's a 24 hour clock at the three o'clock. And then you have your uh, running 60 minute counter there, keeping track of your uh, chronograph. So, and then it has the inner tachometer ring. And I just love the, the dimension that they did with this thing. There is so much going on. It's visually uh, interesting, but yet I have no problem telling the time on it. There's literally almost no loom on this. It is the worst loom Seiko that I've seen in a long time. So if we stop this and then we snap it back, boom, you see it's the Mecha Quartz. It instantly snaps back. I will try to do the loom. I have some ambient light behind me, but essentially the loom is only on the minute, hour, and then one little spot right up there. Like worse than the Air King. It's, uh, it's terrible. So before I do that though, let's pop it on wrist so you can see what it looks like on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. There you go. I think I did a good, you know, choice with, well, plus I had the bracelet laying around. I don't know. I just, I like this one on wrist with this bracelet. The factory bracelet, I guarantee is just going to feel a little bit cheaper and everything. I liked the more chunky, heavier weight of the hex head. So I... Just gonna wear it on this. And I like it, and that's all that really matters. So, all right, let's kill the lights and check the lack of loom. I wasn't even gonna show this, but I may as well. 
yeah, there it is. So you can see, and it's, I got some ambient light in the background, so it's a little hard. I mean, it's Seiko Loom, so like the, the little bit that is there is, you know, potent. But I mean, even the 12 o'clock, you know, pip there is so small that it's just terrible. But I don't really care. I still like the watch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next vid.